This is the hammer by Kato. We'll do close-ups here in just a couple minutes. Um, it's it's pretty stunning, to be honest with you. I mean, um, I think it looks amazing. Uh, let me take a vape real quick and we'll get rolling. Um, so the device is made from 316 stainless steel and brass. Uh, interesting thing about this, I mean, it's essentially a pipe, but it's 100% mechanical to the point where it, do it doesn't even have any wires. Um, it is a pure mechanical, no wire pipe. Uh, it's an 18350 device. Measurements on it are 30 millimeter by 37 millimeter by 54 millimeter. That includes the button um, as and also the uh, the Addy deck. So it's very compact, but it's hefty. Um, you can actually extend the battery length if you have an Astro. You can use the Astro telescoping tube to extend the battery length on the hammer. Um, I'm going to give you a couple different links here. These links are um, for two uh, brick and mortars. One of them is in Cali and one of them is in Vegas. Those are two places that are going to be, or that have been and will continue to carry the Cato Hammer. Uh, I'm not sure about when it's going to be available for online sale, if either of them are going to sell it online, what the situation is, so I apologize, I, don't, I just don't have that information. Um, the retail price on it, though, is not cheap. It's 240 bucks. Um, but, you know, this is kind of, uh, you know, it's more of, it, I, I feel like it's kind of a statement piece or a collector's item. I believe they're done, I believe they're going to be a limited run. Uh, I don't know if he's going to produce them again after this. But, let, let's, let's pull this baby apart. Hold on a sec. I'm going to take um, autofocus off here, and we'll start doing some close-ups. So, this is the Kato Hammer, with all of my fingerprints on it. It's, uh, it actually doesn't have any scratches on it, but it looks like it. I've got my, my ugly prints all over this thing. So, the design on the side, it looks kind of Celtic, and it has that little Celtic uh, trinity on there. Um, but it's actually inspired, from what I understand, by a hammerhead shark. Um, it also has this is on the hammer face, which has the battery vents on it as well. Same design with the hammer on the opposite side, as you can see. Kind of breaking through there. And then on the button, you have another engraving here. I don't know what that one means. It looks pretty cool, though. And then you have another engraving on the base. That says hammer, and it also has your serial number on there as well, as you can see. Okay. Now, for those of you that have an Astro, you'll be familiar with the switch design. It's very, very similar. Um, let's show you what the switch looks like. You've got a lock ring here. Nice and smooth. Button firing is also nice and smooth. It's a pretty short throw. Doesn't matter where you press on the button, it fires. Let's unscrew this guy, show you what it looks like inside. Here's your battery. Nice snug fit with the battery, keeps it nice and compact. On the inside there, you can see it's got an insulator on the inside, and then down in the bottom is the brass contact and the vent tubes. So that's actually your positive contact on the inside there, okay? And the way that this works is the positive contact, I'll, I'll show you actually, it'll be easier to explain when I pull the, uh, um, the 510 off. So we'll put that in, like I said, positive contact. Your negative contact is here, brass screw on the switch inside a Delrin insulator and that obviously makes contact with the rest of the body of the device which is insulated from the positive. Now let me take this Addy off here and show this to you.
So, and this is actually a pretty funky engraving on here too. This is the engraving on the 510 cap. It does have uh, airflow through those kind of, um, they, it almost looks like a, a rough media brushed kind of finish uh, with that sunburst there for the 510. And you have some airflow through there. Uh, then you have that um, positive connection point there. And now this is really cool. So the way it works is you have this brass tube on the inside uh, that's connected to the positive that I showed you inside the base and that's making contact with the positive pin on the bottom of your 510 connection so and then the body of the device which is insulated from that is the negative contact pretty sweet design so he was basically like I said able to create a pipe shaped device without any wires at all pretty neat um, the cap um, the so the the positive pin on this this is pretty neat it's actually self-adjusting spring-loaded you can see it moves there um, and the pin on this side as well does the same thing so it's self-adjusting and then this comes in contact obviously with that metal like I said and that's how you form the positive connection there it is threaded on looks nice so this is what the device looks like without an atomizer on it quite hammer like let's throw the uh, Addy back on there a sec. Where the hell did I put it? There you go. Um, so first thing that I, first thing I thought when I when I got this device was, God damn, that is a lot smaller than I expected it to be. I mean, obviously it's a, it's an eighteen three fifty device, so it's not going to be you know gargantuan, but. Um, but my goodness, it is much, much smaller than I expected. Um, I figured it would be, I don't know. I don't know, just, you know, looking at the pictures, I thought that it would be like twice this size. But I mean, just look at this device compared to, I mean, I know I have big hands, but you know, look at that device compared to the palm of my hand. It's really, really small. Um, and I'll hold this up next to a the Templar, which is a, a fairly compact 18650 device, and you can see the difference in the size. This is an 18650 mode, like I said. So it's very, very compact. Um, it actually feels pretty nice in the hand. It took me kind of a little while to grow accustomed to how to hold it. Um, you know, I uh, you know I tried kind of holding it like a pipe at first and that didn't feel quite right I like kind of palming it and then like wrapping my middle finger around the button there and it works quite well um, you know, it doesn't hit as hard as, um, a Nemesis or a Bear Brass mod, um, but it still performs well, um, and it looks awesome. I mean, it's such a, it's such an unusual design, uh, looks-wise, you know, um, some people I've, I've heard say, you know, that the, the engravings are a little overboard. I don't know. I think they look really cool. Um, you know, there are a lot of engravings, and it's kind of not all over the place, but there's definitely a lot of different designs and kind of a few different design aesthetics used in the engravings. But I think, I think personally that they look cool. Um, I also was, you know, before this was released, I thought that the device was going to be aluminum and it would be really light. Um, it is not light. It is solid. This thing is hefty. Um, I mean, it's it's heavier than uh, any hefty stainless steel mods that I have. You know, th with like thick metal, like a like the Templar or like a Chi Yu. Um, it, it's 
got a lot more heft to it than that. It's it's thick metal. Um, you know, it really feels solid and well built. Um, let me take another drag. Yeah, and like I said, it does perform well. Uh, it doesn't, you know, like a, it doesn't, it doesn't hit like um, you know some of the 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 real top performing mechanical mods, but it's not too it's not too far below that. Uh, it does perform well. It's not like there's like major voltage drop issues or anything like that. And it takes a little bit to grow accustomed to the feel of the device, but um, you know, but it, because it's so compact, you can hold it so many different ways in your hand. I mean, you could press the button against your palm if you wanted to. You know, typically if you're going to use a Genesis on it, then you're going to need to try to line up the way that you vape so that the air holes are pointed toward you. But um, you know, because that connection on it is uh, does give you a little bit of give, you can actually move the atomizer around, turn it a little bit. Um, I did notice that I can't quite get it threaded down all the way so that there's no gap. I don't know if you can see that there, but there's a tiny, tiny bit of a gap in between. This is an H Addy on here uh, and the um, the 510 connection, the um, 510 cap rather. And, uh, you know, that I don't love, but not a huge deal. I mean, the gap is so minuscule. It's probably like 0.1 millimeter or something, maybe 0.2 millimeter. Very, very small. So, let me take another vape and then we'll kind of sum up the pluses and minuses here. Yeah, it performs well. Um, so, positives. The design is just awesome, I think. I mean, and obviously that's personal preference. But it's really cool. It's definitely going to be a collector's piece. Um, it's not something you're going to use as an everyday mod. Um, but, you know, it, it's at least not, not in my opinion. I wouldn't use this as an everyday mod, but it's beautiful. And if you're a collector, uh, I think this is a nice one to have in the collection. It's going to be, like I said, a somewhat limited run. I'm not sure how many he's going to make um, or when they're going to be available. But it looks awesome. It's a really cool, innovative, interesting design. A 100% wire-free mechanical pipe. Really cool. Um, the negatives, you know, it doesn't quite... Your Addy doesn't quite fit flush on the 510 connection, but it's very, very close. Um, it doesn't hit quite as hard as, like, a, you know, like I said, a, a, a Poldiac or a BBM Steampunk or a Nemesis or one of those super high-performance mechanicals. Um, but... It's not far off, and yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it's, <laughs> things badass at the end of the day. I mean, it, it just looks really, really cool. Uh, I am going to be, I'm going to put this in my collection and hang on to this thing because it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's really neat, I think. So, uh, I like it a lot. I would recommend it if you can get your hands on one. I know, you know, like I said, it's, it, it's limited run. I don't know how many he's making, but, um. Hopefully you can get your hands on one and, and, and try to be patient and not overpay for it um, because there are, are going to be more of them available from what I understand. So.